Hello, friends. I'm, uh, it's a late night. I'm walking back from a, uh, I'm walking back. I was about to ready to say I'm walking back from a two mile run, but I'm uh, walking back from what's going to prove to be a mile and a half foot venture. I rode my bike 15 miles tonight and thought I would do my own little do a thon and try to do some running. I ran a 5K of my own design on the Sunday morning and uh, rode 22 miles on my bike on uh, Tuesday evening. One mile completed. Time, 12 minutes, 52 seconds. Pardon Average my... Average pace, 12.49 per mile. Pardon my pacemaker. And uh, I thought I'd make my own little uh, do-a-thon tonight. And I overdid it. That's why I'm walking. And uh, I'm not I'm not 25 anymore, I'm coming to learn. But as I was riding, as I was walking, I, I, uh, I got to thinking about uh, a post that a guy named Start Loving uh, posted last week. And uh, you can find a link for Start's YouTube site right about there. And I'm um, actually hoping to meet Start here soon. And I'm hoping to uh, upload a, an interview with him uh, hopefully in the near future. But um, he, he posted something about the concept of goodness per hour. And he, he was trying to conceive the idea of what formulates humanity. And of course, Start has a, he changed his name to Start Loving for a reason. He has a great view of what love can do in this world. But hopefully, like I said, we'll talk more about that in another interview uh, video coming up here soon. But uh, he, he came up with the idea of goodness per hour as a measure of what makes a human being. And I have been thinking a lot about that as I ran and as I walked. I, got, I was thinking a lot about goodness per hour and the effort it takes to exude goodness and to do good things. Uh, and not really for our own sake, mind you, but more in the name of and for the sake of Jesus for getting his word out, his love out. And uh, tonight, I pushed. Tonight I pushed myself to the point of uh, near exhaustion. And it made me think of, it, of our faith walk. How many of us really push to the point that we wear ourselves out for God? How many of us push and um, improve on our faith walk on a daily basis? I've got a video coming up here soon that I'm working on where I discuss this concept a little further. But I wanted to hear your thoughts on pushing for the sake of our faith. Where, uh, you know, not wearing ourselves out. We do need rest, and, and the Bible is, is very plain on, on the idea of rest. But what does it mean to push your faith? Does it mean pushing a comfort level? Does it mean pushing yourself to read Scripture? Does it mean to push yourself to pray? What does that mean to you? Down in the comments below, or you know what? I really like a video response, because if you respond to this in video, I can take that video with your permission and incorporate it into my next video where I'm going to talk about pushing our faith and pushing forward. So down in the doobly-doo below, I'd like you to uh, respond. That's where you type in words and then you hit the post button. Or when you click in the box, it'll say upload a video response. And if you do that, that'll be in my next video. Uh, what it means to push in your eyes. Thanks for watching. Hey, can somebody come pick me up? I'm getting a little tired. Especially holding my arm out like this. <laughs>